most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents at once. We live on a placid island of ignorance in the midst of a black sea of infinity, and it was never meant that we should wedge far. The sciences, each straining in its own direction, have hitherto harmed us little. But someday, the piecing together of dissociated knowledge will open up such terrifying vistas of reality and of our frightful position therein that we shall either go mad from the revelation or flee from the deadly light into the peace and safety of a new dark age. An antiquarian from infancy, his madness is a matter of dispute amongst the alienists. Dr. Lyman, the eminent Boston authority, places it in 2019 or 2020, during the boy's last year at Moses Brown School, when he suddenly turned from the study of the past to the study of the occult, and refused to qualify for college on the grounds that he had an individual research which was of much greater importance. Theosophists guessed at the awesome grandeur of the cosmic cycle, wherein our world and human race form just transient incidents. They've hinted at strange survivals in terms which would freeze the blood. It's not masked by a bland optimism. But it is not from them that there came the single glimpse of forbidden aeons, which chills me when I think of it. And madness. ritual was not the secret. That was never spoken aloud, only whispered. The chant meant only this. In his house at Riley, dead Cthulhu waits dreaming. But the very first, very first word from his mouth after having found that evil book previously commenced formula of the patient came to be. Unable to speak, the monster made wild motions with his arms and they were too hideous to be suggested. And when the awful name of Yasu, its formation in the 